WSLS 10 in your town, sponsored by Bank of Botetourt. We are once again in your town in Appomattox, and this is a place that played a major role in the Civil War. And 10 News anchor John Carlin is in Appomattox, and John, walk us through some of that history. Oh, I would absolutely love to do that. In fact, I am standing right in front of the house where history was made. This is the famous McLean House, and inside the parlor, inside this building, is where the Civil War came to an end. But I remember actually being here uh, back in 2015 for the celebration of the sesquicentennial for the end of the Civil War, and then it was uh, it was there were people just everywhere reenacting, and reenactors actually showed us what it looked like when the generals inside. Uh, signed those documents. Uh, there was a, a reenactor for General Ulysses S. Grant and Robert E. Lee, and they reached the terms of the surrender, and then they simply got on their horses and they returned to their respective armies. This country has spent four years in a massive slaughter. More men die in the Civil War than in all of our other wars combined. And that, of course, was the late Dr. Bud Robertson from Virginia Tech, one of the most revered voices ever on the history of the Civil War. And he and I got to stand around and talk a little bit about everything that happened around me here uh, in Appomattox. And, you know, one of the things about the, the, the way the war ended is that generals decided that those who had horses could keep them because Grant even told uh, the, the southern side, the Confederates, that he knew that they would need their horses for spring planting. So they wanted them to go back to their homes, they wanted them to resume their lives, and they wanted the war to come to an end. So, but it all happened right here in Appomattox. 